Dude, you guys are in for a treat today, buddy. You guys are in for a treat on this video today. <laughs> so the other day I made this video. Ah! Ah! I made this video just basically showing like, you know, all these fanboys of uh, X Divine and how they told everybody for like the last the last eight months. The last eight months. Either 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 subscribe, donate, or get this guy Nightfall. One of, one of you guys reached out on me on Twitter and was telling me about uh, about this dude and um, this video. This guy made this video and, and like the, okay, the comments alone on this guy's video are like worth just doing a live stream about. Let alone this video. I watched the first three minutes and I, I was like, dude, I gotta turn the camera on. I gotta do a live stream. I gotta share this with you because this shit is just so funny. If you like X Defiant, that's fine. But these fanboys, I've got to be the biggest group of losers <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. Not only that, they're like they're like brain damaged. They're like literally dumb. Like I feel like I'm talking like low IQ, literally mentally challenged, dude. These guys are literally mentally fried. These guys are <laughs> hilarious, dude. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Okay, so before we go any further, before we go, let's just read the comments, and the comments will tell you about how, how this video this guy made, Nightfall with four L's is gonna go, because the guy's such a fucking loser, one L's not enough. All right, okay, all right, look, okay, dude. <laughs> just, just, just bear with me, dude. This is amazing. All right, we're gonna do a first comment. I never liked eight thoughts. Dude just trashes any game in every game. I'm beginning to wonder if we need to send someone to check on this dude. I don't know how he has any fans at all. He's been off the deep end. Ignore the loser. Subscribe, donate, get out. If you like X to fight, I feel bad for you because what you're gonna see in this this live stream is gonna make the X to fight like community look like the biggest group of dweebs, dorks, nerds, degenerates morons, mentally handicapped gamers in the world. I'm telling you, man, the Down Syndrome Roblox community, guys that go out there and play Roblox with head injuries, I like Roblox, Roblox is a good game. Those dudes, I could like those guys. These guys, holy shit. All right, that's the first comment. Okay, let's go to the next comment. Funny, I remember back in the day, this dude was one, the one to attack Call of Duty shields till he took it too far and put Drift in a situation where he could have gotten shot. <laughs> It's just beginning. It's, these guys are unhinged. It's just beginning, guys. It's just, it just wait. Dude was hanging on an armed lunatic. <laughs> that went to Drifter's house to harass him. He got banned after that. Guess these days he's low key. The, dude, he thought low key shilling for COD. Yeah, yeah, the ghost of eight. He thought he's shilling for COD, guys. Yeah, he's shilling for COD. Black Ops 6 and the Call of Duty Activision. So, okay. Uh, Treyarch thought they could blast last Treyarch a bit skill based damage. The end of Call of Duty is worse than we thought. Skill based damage. Black Ops sucks. 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 This game sucks. Sucks. This is the worst. This game sucks. This game's horrible. Black Ops can eat shit. Trump has mind fucked the Black Ops community. Black Ops sucks. Black Ops sucks. Black Ops sucks. Black Ops is garbage. Uh, Black Ops is garbage. This so much Black Ops six. Sucks. Black Ops. Okay, I think we got the idea, right? Okay, I'm guys. I'm shilling for Call of Duty now. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Eight Thoughts is just a rage bait merchant. Okay, I get it. He's actually a grifter. The real definition. What is a grifter? A person who engages in petty or small scale swindling. Guys, check out my CS:GO gambling website. I just happened to find with my best friend Brock. I just want a small pot for ten dollars. Guys, check it out. Links in the description below. You can have a great time. Go on CSGO Lotto and gamble. What's going on, guys? T-Mart here. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my base. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. Next comment. Ghost of A is literally insane. Look back what he did to Drifter a few years ago. He literally tried to kill him, guys. Eight Thoughts literally tried to kill him, guys. He tried to kill him. <laughs> he tried to kill him, guys. He literally tried to kill him. Holy shit. I remember his videos from 10 years ago. He was always just yelling and saying stupid things. It was cringe. Pretty sure he was 30 back then. Yeah, pretty close. That's actually true. That guy's correct. That is true. He's literally a bipolar troll. Okay, fair enough. Please, please don't pay him any mind because he will troll you. That's what we're doing right now. That, that guy was right. We're, did I fall? You're about to get fucked, buddy. We're about to make you look like the dumbest person on the internet. We're kicking ass. We're taking names. We're back, baby. Look at this. You guys are beautiful. Thank you for being here. Nightfall with four L's because the guy's such a loser. 
One L's not enough. Ho, ho, ho! Hey guys, Nightfall here, and recently I was introduced to... The okay, right out the gate, I don't need to go with the video any further. We could just stop the live stream right there. I appreciate you guys coming out. You can listen to the guy's voice. It's like, guys, guys, recently I got to watch a video of Call of Duty, a YouTuber by the name of Ghost of Eight, and um, he... um. He insulted X Defiant. I'm so upset. I'm so either, either upset. Subscribe, donate, or get the I'm fuck so out. upset. Ugh, dude, that, that's like the most beta male fucking voice I've ever heard. What the fuck is that? For sure, Nightfall voted for Kamala Harris. The voice is so gay. Hey guys, Nightfall here. And recently, I was introduced to this YouTuber by the name of Ghost of Eight. I have now seen a grand total of three of his videos. And I have come to the conclusion just based on those three videos, that this dude is either a professional troll or just an idiot. He may just be the most bipolar, schizophrenic, paste-eaten YouTuber I have ever seen. In those three videos I watched, he goes from hating X Defiant and trying to say it's absolute trash and nobody played it, to Activision is behind the shutdown of X Defiant and they paid them off, to People like Blame Truth and Jay Bowen lied to their audience about X Defiant being good. Now, while I wasn't cool enough to be name dropped by this clown, I felt personally attacked. I felt okay, there it is right there. There's a beta male right there. There's a beta male right there. Okay. Let me just point it out here for all the kids out there. Either, hey. either, either subscribe, donate, or get... Mr. Talidol Jones, appreciate the support, man. Thank you very much. But the thing is here, I just want to point out something really right away. I want to point out something right away that this guy right here has lost everything and is completely out the gate a loser when he says this. I wasn't cool enough to be name dropped by this clown. Right here. I felt personally attacked. I felt some type of way. He felt personally attacked. Okay, that right there, you're, I'm sorry. Hey, Nightfall, you're a loser. You got low self-esteem. You lack character, you lack any strength, and you're a beta male bitch. Straight up, that's honest. I mean, the rest of this video might be hyperbole, but that's definitely 100% uh, literal. I mean that literally. If you feel personally attacked because some dude who doesn't know anything about you, never heard of you until 10 minutes ago, made a video about a video game that you have no part in creating, no part in any kind of way to do anything with. You, did, you didn't make the game. You did not create the game. You did not give any kind of input into the game. You were simply a consumer of the game, but you felt personally attacked because someone's making fun of that game. You're gay. Because of some of his comments, and let me play those for you dude, right now. Dude. Is there trying to say X Defiant was great because it was competition for Black Ops 6 and Call of Duty. And if Call of Duty doesn't have competition, that's not good. Now, that was one of my arguments that I've recently made videos on prior to the announcement that X Defiant was going to be shut down. I've said from the very beginning, we need competition in the gaming space for games to be good again. And even though I cut his clip off a little short there, I don't want to take it out of context. So let me elaborate further on what he says. Yeah, please, please, hey guys, listen here guys, listen. I'm Nightfall, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. I felt personally attacked. This guy, just son of a bitch. Yeah. Uh, 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 that son of a bitch. Dude, people. <laughs> just son of a bitch. I'm personally attacked. Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if I drop dead while doing a YouTube video, it could be worse ways. That'd be fucking hilarious. Just drop out right here, dead. He later goes on to explain how Call of Duty is in the worst state that it's ever been in, or at least has been in since it started getting competition. But... He also listed games like Fortnite as competition to Call of Duty. Fortnite is not direct competition to Call of Duty. X Defiant was never direct competition. It's, dude, X Defiant sucked, okay? Like, this, I'm sorry. It sucked, dudes. Like, who the f*** wants to play on these shitty maps with 
lag and some gay ass skids. And like, you know, you think Black Ops 6 skids are super SJW. Dude, this game is like as fair as it gets. Everyone's black. There's like one white guy. Everyone's a lesbian. It's horrible, dude. There was no content. It never was. It literally went to 5 million people. Either, and like either within either like a month, donate it had no in it. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Stop asking. Thanks for the donation as well. Thanks for support. Eight. Would you rather A, get a hand job off a gay dude at Fort Dallas Airport or B, have your house stormed by a big black escort? <laughs> <laughs> you better be careful. You better be careful. Because eight thoughts. That guy's crazy. He'll kill you. He'll kill you guys. He will come and kill you. <laughs> guys, I tell you what. You want to know why nobody wants to talk to me? <laughs> why nobody in their right mind ever makes reply videos anymore to my videos? Why no one, no matter what I say or do, ever wants to respond to me? Because after 15 years, they all realize it's you will look like a moron. I'm sorry. Like, I mean, I don't want to brag, but I'm the best. I'm the greatest because what I'm actually doing, even though I'm trolling, is a lot of truth to it. I just make it funny. But and these people are all trying to come at me. There's no one on my level. These people are pathetic. I mean, I got Andrew Tate, for God's sakes, blocking me because the guy get, can't handle me. Like, come on. The top G, more like the bottom B, can't even handle me. I'm the best. We're the best. I'm the greatest. Not the worst. Like Welfare Wednesday. Can't stop on the first of the month either. Got a good hoe and I know how to treat her. Let's keep going. Hey, appreciate you guys all being here. We're uh, we're rocking and rolling, kicking ass and taking names. And this Nightfall guy is crashing out for sure. Not like X Defiant is or was. Still kind of weird. But there's no... Okay, okay, let me stop right there. He just said X Defiant was competition. It was never competition after the first two, three weeks. It blew up because content creators wanted to see what it was about. Got a lot of views, got a lot of videos, and then it completely just died. It had like 8,000 people playing it. I don't care if it was similar to Call of Duty. It still wasn't competition. That's what you dumb X Defiant fanboys and gamers don't understand. It doesn't matter if it's similar. It was never competition because it was shit and no one liked it. And if you liked it, that's fine. But if it wasn't shit, it would be canceled. If it was good, people would be playing it. So cry some more into your goddamn anime pillow, you f low testosterone geeks, all right? Jesus. No way this man says this with a straight face. Fortnite might be comp. No way you say anything with a straight face, Nightfall, you gay boy. Boom, roasted. Competition to God. Warzone, but it's not competition to games like Black Ops 6. If Fortnite is competition to Call of Duty, so is Apex. So is PUBG. Yes, they They're are. They're an entirely different genre of game outside of Warzone. But Warzone is not what we're talking about. Like, he cannot be for real right now. Competition Guys, is good for, for gamers, not for companies. That's a fact. When was the last Call of Duty that most people would agree was just an awesome game? Probably Black Ops 2 or 3. You know what other game or franchise was still around back then that gave them almost direct competition halo yeah battlefield actually battlefield three and four not halo halo was irrelevant man halo was irrelevant after uh, like what halo three halo four was garbage halo five was garbage halo infinite wasn't that bad it was pretty good but still no one really cared and uh battlefield was direct competition and uh what happened to uh call of duty then nothing what, what's this guy talking about? Who, also, who gives a shit was direct competition or not? X Defiant fucking sucked and it's dead. Like, who gives a shit, man? Like, what's this guy going on about? Who gives a shit what happened in 1975 on the grassy knoll in goddamn Dallas, Texas, getting hand jobs by some shitty guy with every disease in the book because he's mentally insane and some crazy guy tried to hire people to go kill him? What kind of guy does that? What kind of guy does that? Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Listen, listen, let me talk to you for a second. What? Come over here, come over here. Listen, listen. The guy is mentally insane. He's got massive mental health problems. He's on every drug in the book. He's streaming from a bed, looking up at the ceiling because he's dying of every single known disease in the world because he's And you know what happened? Eight thoughts. You know what that guy is? Yeah, yeah. He tried to hire someone to kill him. He's crazy, guys. He's crazy. And since Halo kind of took a yeah, back seat a and hasn't been releasing often the when they do, haven't been re Rabbit releasing Goldie. good games yeah. since Halo 3, maybe Halo 4. COD has just become complacent to put out sloppy, unfinished games with the same exact bugs every single year. Just from the clip I played for you in the intro and that one extra clip, this guy sounds unhinged and I'd even go so far as to call him jealous because some of the other comments he made about other creators, 
getting views while his videos suffered and he lost subscribers. Maybe you lost subscribers because a lot of your subs like X Defiant and they were tired of hearing you trash it. He yeah, but I don't give a shit. I've been telling the how I feel no matter what. Just like so many of the people I see in all my comments sections thinking they aren't being negative and they're just giving their opinion. Let me give you an example of the two so that everybody understands. I think COD is trash and I don't get how morons play that trash ass game every single year. That's I totally agree. <coughs> First thing you said, Nightfall, that I agree with you. I agree with you, Nightfall. It's being negative. Now, let's try to form that into an actual opinion. COD is just not for me for X, Y, and Z reasons. I'm glad that Nightfall with 2,000 subscribers that I've never heard of before in my life is trying to give advice on what how to do videos. That, that's cool. Then in passing, he makes another weird comment in one of the videos I watched about how all these YouTubers are just being clickbaity and extreme and trying to get your views because they're trying to get ad revenue. He even goes so far as to say that no one is exempt from this, including himself. That's well, true. I'd like to say, speak for yourself. And I'd like to raise my hand and say, yeah, we don't give a shit about you, Nightfall. I That's why I never talked about you before. It's about the ad revenue. Yeah, we the don't, ad yeah, revenue we're, we're, comes. Well, that's what the whole, holy shit, man. This is like causing me to have a stroke with how ridiculous this is. Because I make the videos. We're I'm not make, talking about you, Nightfall. No one cares about the your videos opinion. Because I give my opinion on how I feel about things. Cool. Certain things I feel extreme about. So I'll make a video on it. Fast I have before. never once gone out of my way to try to make a video seem Dude, like more than actually Dude, if I put it in fast forward, the guy still talks slower than I do. Was for view count ever. I'll let you guys know when I get to that point, but it has yet to happen. But anyway, let's go ahead and get back on topic. I'm not usually one to engage in direct drama over YouTube. Like this isn't some Hendrick Drake beef diss track back and forth stuff. I might respond to you on Twitter if you say something out of pocket and call you like a twat waffle or something. Oh, but usually, oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! You calm down there, Nightfall. He gonna call you a twat waffle? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, calm it down. Take it easy. You're getting crazy. Twat waffle. Holy God, guys. You might... Guys, 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 guys. Hold on a sec. Guys, 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 guys. Hey, hey, guys. You guys better not go at him on Twitter. Because if you come at him on Twitter, guys, guys, he's going to call you a... You call yourself like a, a twat waffle. <laughs> Boom roasted. <laughs> Dude, this guy's such a giant loser. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Gonna call gonna call you Hey, Listen, if you come at me and you're out of pocket on Twitter, you, I might call you a twat waffle. Boom, bitch. What? Just wreck your whole week, buddy. You ain't gonna be able to recover from that. Listen, dude, dude, this aggression will not stand me. Guys, hit that like button, subscribe, or you're a twat waffle. Boom, roasted. I don't go out of my way to make videos responding to other people and the stuff that they say, except one time. And this guy needs to get the Kainuru treatment because there's no way that he's serious with anything that he's saying. Like, no, no, I'm dead serious, dude. Like, I'm dead serious about what I'm saying. And uh, how, how serious am I? Because if you start messing around, I will kill you. I will find you. And I'm going to kill you. He say psych right now. This guy has to be joking. He hey, is guys, guys. Hey, Black, hey, X Defiant's an amazing game. Look at the lag in the background of this game. Dude, look, look at this. This thing's like running at 12 frames per second. Serious with anything Watch, watch, that watch this game. Watch like, amazing. Like, somebody Defiant. say psych uh, right now. Uh, this guy has to be oh, joking. Great. He is literally Frank the Tank personified. Inside joke. If you know, you know. If you don't, you should come to the live stream more often. But he references videos of his from six months ago and says he told us the game was dead back then six months ago i did six months ago that's right so we're in december so six months ago was one two three oh june yes. fucking june which was just like one month into the release of x defiant yeah and the game was dead after one month i already knew everything because i'm a genius this guy this guy does not seem to understand this on how many different levels either, either, i'm either above subscribe, him subscribe donate or out Dan, Daniel, how you doing, Cabrera? Thanks for the support, man. Appreciate it, dude, as always. This dude talks so slow, it's making me have a stroke. Okay, you know, I'm going to put it a little faster. This guy literally has the lowest testosterone 
Honestly, this guy makes X Defiant fanboys look bad. Like, X Defiant fanboys are bad enough already. This guy makes them look bad. I've never seen the bigger dweeb. Man, this uh, this guy might become my new number one target. I hope he can make some more videos about me. I and I know how these guys love to use Twitch viewer numbers as gospel for player count. So here you go. In May, at launch of X Defiant, it had 13,000 average viewers. In June, it had 9,000 average viewers. Now, if you can look at that and tell me it's going to die based solely on those two months, you need to play the lottery or something because that's some Nostradamus shit. Every game sees a fall off similar to that. Call of Duty is no exception. Actually, yeah, if you went into my videos, I looked at the actual player counts okay. based upon who was playing the game um, on the uh, on the data charts, not Twitch numbers, on data charts. And my point is this: I was right. I don't know what you're talking about here. He, he six months, yeah, five months ago, four months ago, I knew the game was dead because I actually looked into the actual player counts. I, unlike you, Nightfall, I'm not mentally challenged. I'm not a fanboy. I didn't have cognitive dissonance. I knew the game was sucked. And you know what? Let me ask you a question, Nightfall. Um, is the game canceled? Yes. Thank you. I was right. Next, please creators and throw shade at some of the other ones out of what i can only imagine to be pure jealousy like i mentioned before yes, this I'm, guy thinks that i'm jealous guys that's yes i'm jealous that's that's what is this guy talking that's about the fight shut down because it was a bad game and had no players because 15 million downloads is no players because even at its lowest point at about twenty thousand concurrent players is no players it's not a lot of players sure but there are tons of games still going to this day with much less player count. And do you know why? Because of the company behind it. Some of the old Black Ops games are still up and running. Those weren't shut down. X Defiant isn't shutting down because it's bad or it had no players or because people weren't spending money. It's shutting down because Ubisoft is in a terrible spot financially right now. It's not shutting down because the game's doing bad, guys. Let me, let me repeat that again. X Defiant isn't shutting down because it's not doing bad. X Defiant is shutting down because Ubisoft is in a bad place financially. This guy has actually got Down Syndrome. If it was making money, it wouldn't shut down. That's like saying like, I don't like to make money. I don't like to be successful. So we're just going to shut it down. Comparing it to old Call of Duty games that are still running when there actually doesn't need any development for that. Those are old games that already made their money. Like this guy literally has got, I'm sorry, I'm going to be honest now. No jokes. Nightfall. You would lack any critical thinking skills or logic. You literally just try to compare old Call of Duty games that are still up and running to a game that just launched six months ago. The old Call of Duty games already went through their cycle and made billions, literally billions of dollars. It requires nothing and no money to keep those games running. They don't even put, they don't put any anti-cheat into it. They have no developers making or working on those games. That's why those games are still running. They run because they require nothing to keep them running. This game is shutting down because it's making no money. It's been out for six months and it literally has dropped below 10,000 concurrent player count. I did that six months ago and showed you that it was dropping out of the top 20, the top 30. It is not even in the top 100 most played games on any console. Ubisoft is in a bad financial place. So if they had something that was making them money, they would keep the game going. I'm literally arguing with a four-year-old. Sorry, Nightfall, but you're f***ing dumb. And all you fanboys that support this, you're morons too. This guy is literally has an IQ of 12. It's not even in the top 100. You know what I'm saying? Most played PS5 games. These are the top 100 games for PS Tracker. All right? You will not find it on here. You cannot find it here. You will not find X to find anywhere here. Okay? Marvel Spider-Man that released... How many years ago has more people playing it, okay? Batman Arkham Knight has more people playing it, okay? What are you smoking, dude? Listen, I understand that you're all butthurt and sad about X Defiant shutting down, but stop being so stupid. Jesus Financially right Christ. now. And they're preparing to either go bankrupt or sell out to somebody else. In other words, X Defiant was just collateral damage. But even if that wasn't the case, in one of his own videos, which I still can't be sure if he was trolling or not, he claims that Activision basically forced Ubisoft to shut them down and had inside people or paid them off or some crazy conspiracy theory. Yeah, that was a bullshit video. I don't know what I was going with that one. I just thought of that, made the video. I'm being honest, I'm fair. I'm a fair God. I am a fair and righteous God. God Emperor Ghost of Eight is a fair and righteous God. That, was, that, that video was good. But, uh, I don't know, I, I pulled that out my ass. Activision got so scared of its potential and paid Ubisoft to shut it down. Because it can't be both. But I digress. If you needed any more evidence of how clueless this guy actually is, I didn't think someone with this much of a following on YouTube could be so dense and have zero idea. Let me ask you a question. Five months ago, I told you X Defiant was shutting down. Did it shut down? Yes. Who was the only person telling you it was going to shut down? Me. There's no more argument, Nightfall. It's over. I, it's X Defiant shut down. All you're doing now is just trying to, I don't know, cry some more because you're upset that your precious X Defiant shut down. That's, that's it. Like, that's all I got to say. Everybody else trying to tell you it's doing great. Call of Duty's in trouble. Call of Duty's dead. X Defiant's going to kill Call of Duty. I said, no, it wasn't. I told you to shut down three months after Black Ops 6 dropped. What happened? Less than three months, it shut down. I told you four months ago, three months ago, five months ago, it's shutting down. That's all there is to it.
I don't know what you're saying. Like, listen, I know you got mentally hurt and you got physically damaged and you took it personal because someone like me made fun of X Defiant because you've got low testosterone. You're easily mentally damaged because it's obvious that you are gay. I just think we could all say, I'm going to hit that like button for you, buddy. Hit the like button. I hit the like button because I'm not a hater. I think we can all say that we are dumber for having to watch that video. We probably all have lower testosterone than we did when we first started watching this video. And nothing Nightfall said countered my point that I told you all that the game was going to die. I told you all that the game was trash. I told you all the game was going to be canceled. And what happened? Everything I said was true. I'm sorry that you got butt hurt over that. But that's the facts, Jack. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. I'm a stud. I'm the best. You're the best. Unfortunately, Nightfall, you sound like who went through testosterone on replacement therapy. Like, you know, like they suck testosterone out of you. And then like after you turn 15, you decide like, hey, I don't want to be no more. And you're like, let me try to get back all the testosterone and, you know, reinsert my balls. And let's try to be me, me a man again. Unfortunately, Nightfall, you failed. Boom, get roasted. I'm the best. I'm the greatest. Not the worst. Like, well, for a Wednesday, can't stop the first of the month either. Goddamn. And also on top of that, you got to be careful because eight thoughts will kill you. You have to be careful. He will literally come to your house and try to kill you because he is crazy, guys. Okay.